everyone. Zabby here today with another Zabby Rocks. Today we're going to do a science experiment. We're going to turn milk into plastic, or we could call it a magic trick. Um, it's uh, simple. We don't need too many ingredients. It's quick and it's effective. So what you're going to need for this experiment is one cup of water. Not, no, one cup of milk vinegar, white distilled vinegar, because it has the highest acidity in it, and a strainer, and a spoon, and I think that's about it. And it doesn't take long. It's going to take a few days to harden, so I will take some photos of how that goes. Um, all right, ready, set, go. First step is we're going to warm up one cup of milk. I'm gonna use a microwave to do that. It takes about a minute and a half, so I'm gonna do it for a minute, and then I'll check, and then I'll do it for another 30 seconds. And while that's happening, I will get my vinegar into my cup. All right, here we go. The vinegar, we're going to need four teaspoons. And if you get that together while your milk is warming, we found that the hotter the milk, but not boiling, was made better, made better uh, casein. Casein, that's what we're making. And all the casein means is cheese. So it really is just a really kind of a big cottage cheese clump. Not the most attractive thing. All right, let's see how I did here. I kind of had an overpour, and I don't know. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go with those four. And it's a good, good, good thing for the adult to probably deal with that hot milk as we don't wanna burn anybody. It cools really quick, but just transporting it from the hot plate or the microwave to the bowl, adult supervision is recommended. All right, my milk is now hot. I'm going to pour it into the bowl. And now I'm just gonna stir. And you can hopefully see that it's trying to change into globs. Can you see how it's kind of thickening and kind of goes to an egg flour soup look for a minute? We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it into a mold of some kind, I think we have heart molds and that's what we're gonna use. And then it's gonna sit in there for a couple of days. Well, actually I might only sit in there for the night and then um, take it out because I think it'll dry better if it's not sitting in a mold. Voila, there we have it. One clump of soon to be plastic. I'm gonna take my heart mold. It's a little silicone mold used for many things in my room. And then I'm going to just press it in to the shapes over there. I, we, you could do all kinds of experiments if you want to get um, doing a lot of things. You could change up your vinegar solution to a lighter vinegar. You could use different milks. Will almond milk work? Will half and half work? You know, what, what are those ratios? You could do a great chart. I could see a, a science project really, really taking off with this. Now we have pressed them in to the heart mold, these two right here. And then we're gonna let them dry and see how it goes. This is one that we did yesterday. And we put toothpicks in the top because we thought maybe we'd wanna hang them. But there we are. It's hardening up, it's not as dry. It takes about three or four days, so we'll take a picture of tomorrow too and see how that goes. But I think it's really kind of fun to see that transition of what milk and vinegar will do. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, science project. Uh, please give a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.